Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to DreamWorks Switch to Life. And in today's video, we're doing our monthly upcoming DreamWorks projects. And we actually have a lot of good news, even though this week isn't as jam-packed as last month. I still think that the April update will be very interesting. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Okay, so for those of you who have been following the channel for the past uh, three months, I guess, you may have noticed that I've been talking about a film called Meet the Gilmans. Well, that film has been canceled. And I... No, what? It's not canceled. It's just renamed as Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. And we actually have a trailer and release date of June 30th. I can't believe it because, well, the movie was given a release date just three months before its release. I have never heard of a theatrical movie doing that. And yet, there it is. So, the plot is unique, and it's not based on a book or anything, unlike a lot of DreamWorks' previous movies, where they were based on books or toys or something. And, well, if you want to know plot details, you can just watch the trailer, and I leave a link to it in the description down below. But, without further ado, let's move on to our next movie, which is Trolls Band Together. And I honestly... I'm sure that you guys all saw this coming if you have been keeping with the channel. Trolls 3 was confirmed a long time ago for a November 17th release, but now we actually have a trailer for it. Link in the description down below as well. And, well, I can't say I'm a big fan of the plot. And it's for one key line. I'm John Dory. Branches long lost brother. What? Drama. Corn me, dinkles. Yeah, you heard that right. Apparently, for the third Trolls movie, DreamWorks is, once again, diving into the long-lost family bond, uh, thing. They did it with Kung Fu Panda, they did it with How to Train Your Dragon, I guess you could say they did it with Shrek, because we were talking about Fiona's parents, not Shrek's parents, but still... And they did it with Madagascar. Yeah, you can see how it's kind of a DreamWorks stereotype for sequels to deal with long-lost family members. And now, Trolls has fallen into it. Not a fan of it, but we can't judge the film based off the trailer. We can judge it when it's actually released on November 17th. And until then, I guess that's it for 2023. So let's move on to 2024. Okay, so our first confirmed movie for 2024 is Kung Fu Panda 4, which we know absolutely nothing about other than the fact that Jack Black will return as Poe in it, and it might have a couple other characters from the previous movies, including Shifu and the Furious Five, but we don't know anything about the plot, the villain, anything. All we know is that it has a release date of March 8, 2024, so... Yeah, I guess that's it. But we also have two other DreamWorks movies that have confirmed release dates, and they are February and September. Unfortunately, we don't actually know what the names of these movies are, and yeah, other than the release date, we know nothing. So, what are these movies? If you have been a long-time viewer of the channel, you will know that at first, I thought it was Shrek 5 and Meet the Gilmans. Now, however, I think that it's going to be Shrek 5 and Mice and Mystics because, well, Meet the Gilmans was, once again, renamed as Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, given a summer 2023 release date on June 30th, and yeah. Who knows? Maybe we will get Meet the Gilmans one day as a sequel to Ruby Gilman. Like, Ruby Gilman 2, Meet the Gilmans. Alright, got a little sidetracked there. But again, I think the 2024 movies are Shrek 5 and Mice and Mystics, which is based off of a Dungeons & Dragons style board game. And of course, Shrek 5 is just a sequel to the Shrek franchise. Again, other than the release dates, nothing has been confirmed. So... 
We can't specify if it's Shrek 5 and Mice and Mystics or if it's something completely different. That's just what I think that these two movies are going to be. But again, until DreamWorks has officially come forward, we can't confirm or deny what the movies are. So with that out of the way, let's move on to our next project which is a live-action How to Train Your Dragon movie. Now, we don't know the title of this. We don't know who the cast is. What we do know is that it's being written by the same writer of the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy, and that, well, DreamWorks isn't going to be the ones making it because it's live-action, but I still think it's worth mentioning because maybe DreamWorks could sign on as producer or just brand recognition, but again, they aren't the ones making it. It is currently set for a March 2025 release date. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the TV show side of things. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way. The only TV show that we have with a confirmed release date is The Boss Baby Back in the Crib Season 2, which will be released on Netflix on April 13th, 2023. Trailer in the description down below, but other than that, that is really it. That's all the DreamWorks projects that have release dates. Uh, that doesn't mean that's not all of their upcoming TV shows. Let's talk about all the other ones. First TV show is Go Dog Go Season 4, which has actually been confirmed to get an eventual release date. We don't know the actual release date, we just know that Season 4 of Go Dog Go is in the works. If you ask me, I think that we could see Season 4 sometime this summer, like June or July, but not August. The second TV show we have confirmed is Kung Fu Panda The Dragon Knight Season 3, which will eventually get a release. I'm thinking also summer, most likely July, maybe even August. I don't know. But here's the thing. I think that Season 3 will most likely be the final season, and it's not really due to episode count or anything. It's just I really don't see where the story can go other than what season three does in England. After season three, I just, once again, I can't see a way for this show to continue without starting a new arc. And unfortunately, there simply isn't enough time to start a new arc because Kung Fu Panda 4 releases less than a year from the time I'm recording this video. So yeah, Kung Fu Panda The Dragon Knight season three will be the final season of The Dragon Knight. That is our last confirmed season for upcoming TV shows, but that doesn't mean we can't talk about the other TV shows. In terms of season 8 for Gabby's Dollhouse, I just don't see it happening. Because season 7 just released and it already brought the series to 51 episodes. Not quite the 52 episode mark that most DreamWorks TV shows get to before their eventual end, but close enough that I think season 8 just simply isn't going to happen. If it does, it would be a surprise to me, but I'd say don't hold your breath. But again, it hasn't been confirmed to be ended, and it hasn't been confirmed to be renewed. So maybe they're working on season 8 and they're not telling us because season 7 just dropped? Or they're not working on season 8, the show is over, and no one is mentioning a thing about it. But other than that, our last show is Team Zenko Go. Now, this is in a completely different boat, because it's two seasons in with 22 episodes. Now, if you ask me, that means it's reached the end of its phase, and now it's just up to viewership numbers as to whether or not season 3 happens. I think that maybe DreamWorks is in fact working on Season 3, but they can't announce it because, well, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But I'd say don't expect Season 3 to be released until the second half of 2023. But that's not the end of our Netflix catalog, because that's just the end of our TV show renewals. We have the Bad Guys Christmas special, which I am dubbing the Bad Guys in the Holiday Heist. And no, that is that is not a confirmed name. That is just what I think it should be called. But essentially, this is a Christmas special centered around the Bad Guys, and I think it will be really unique, and it will be released on Netflix in December 2023. We don't have a confirmed date, but again, 
It's a Christmas special, December. You can see where I'm going with that. Now, other than that, we also have other projects coming to Netflix. We have two TV shows that are getting their series premiere in 2023, and they are confirmed for 2023. We have Not Quite Narwhal, which is based on a book, and Do Drop Diaries, which is another original DreamWorks TV show not quite based on anything. Little is known about these shows other than the fact that Not Quite Narwhal will star a unicorn who grew up among narwhals and now he's trying to su learn to survive in the best of both worlds. However, the Dewdrop Diaries one is about a group of fairies living in a park trying to make human lives easier. Other than that, we that's pretty much it for new content for Netflix, but we're not done with Netflix yet either. Puss in Boots The Last Wish is currently on Blu-ray, DVD, digital, and streaming on Peacock. You do have to pay for Peacock, though. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean it's going to be there permanently, because it's been confirmed that after four months, we will get the show on Netflix, and it will leave Peacock. So for those of you who are subscribed to Netflix and don't want to subscribe to Peacock, you're going to have to wait till July 10th. For those of you subscribed to Peacock, you have until July 10th to watch the movie. And I really hope you guys do, because it's a really awesome movie. But for now, let's just move on to Peacock. Okay, so all three TV shows that are currently streaming on Peacock are Dragons the Nine Realms, The Crude's Family Tree, and Abominable the Invisible City. All of those shows need to get renewals in order to uh, get future seasons. Problem is, all of those shows just got renewals and they were released in March. You can watch them right now at the time of watching this video. Problem is that... It also means that we have a while to wait before any future seasons come. If you ask me, Dragons the Nine Realms will get at least three more seasons with a total of 20 episodes. So a seven episode season, a six episode season, and another seven episode season that will serve as the finale to the entire series. Same thing with The Crude's Family Tree, only that will get 13 episodes over the course of two seasons because, well you know, it's once again going to reach the 52 episode mark, which is the end of the series. But Abominable the Invisible City is in a completely different boat. It has two seasons with 20 episodes under its belt. And from what I can tell, Abominable season two, I just watched it. It has a really good ending, zero cliffhanger. I don't think anyone would mind if the show ended there. But again, it's not confirmed or denied that the show will end there, and maybe it will, maybe it won't, we don't know. I hope that eventually a season 3 does happen, but if it doesn't, I wouldn't mind the way that the show ends right now. I am 99% sure that Dragons the Nine Realms and the Crude's Family Tree will eventually get renewals. Abominable, I'm a bit less certain, but again, we have zero confirmation for any of these shows getting TV season renewals. Other than that, we also have another bunch of TV shows. One of these shows is Casper the Friendly Ghost, or rather a live action series based around Casper the Friendly Ghost, with DreamWorks Animation providing the animation of Casper with live action actors, uh, around them. Think something similar to Hop or Alvin and the Chipmunks. The show will eventually be released at some point. There's no confirmed year, but I think that we could see it in October because, you know, Casper the Ghost, October is Halloween month. You get what I'm saying, right? And the other TV show is Megamind's Guide to Defending Your City, which has been confirmed to get a release date in 2024. So yeah, for those of you looking forward to Megamind in 2023, it's not happening. We don't know much about the show, and we don't even know who the cast is. Hopefully they get Will Ferrell to come back for the role, and maybe David Cross to play Minion, but unfortunately not confirmed, and they'll most likely replace the actors with some 
minor actor like they do with a bunch of other DreamWorks TV shows. Okay, I'm just going to open it out of the gate. Both Doug Unplugs and Pinecone and Pony have not been confirmed for future seasons. Now, here's the thing. Eventually, I think we will get Pinecone and Pony Season 3, but when it comes to Doug Unplugs Season 3, I don't think it's going to happen. It's literally just viewership numbers and, well, for DreamWorks TV shows... There are better streaming services out there than Apple TV+, Plus, and unfortunately, there aren't that many good TV shows on Apple TV+, Plus to incentivize parents to sign on versus something like Netflix or Peacock. So, yeah, I think viewership numbers are what's determining the fact that Doug Unplugs will whether or not it gets a season three, and I don't think it's going to get the viewership numbers to get a season three. But Pinecone and Pony, I believe, will get a season three simply because that's how many episodes were ordered when the show first started. Once again, season three is not confirmed. In fact, the show very well could end with just two seasons, and yeah. So, just to recap, all of our upcoming DreamWorks projects include Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken on June 30th, 2023, Trolls Band Together on November 17th, 2023, Kung Fu Panda 4 on March 8th, 2024, two unconfirmed DreamWorks movies set for February and September releases, and a live action How to Train Your Dragon which is set for a March 2025 release date. On the TV show side of things, coming to Netflix, we have The Boss Baby Back in the Crib Season 2 coming April 13th, 2023. And other than that, we have zero release dates for the TV shows. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you want to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all things DreamWorks related. I hope you guys are staying safe out there, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.